Mortal Kombat on the game you know This I swear of a game comes in black and black or blue and blue on the super game you know I am a classic Mortal Kombat fan and when this came out on game you know I had to get it man was that a mistake I actually took this one back to Fun Love Land a couple of days later. The graphics for the original Game Boy weren't bad. The gameplay will haunt you forever. It moves so slow, you can eat a sandwich. And I'm slowing down the video. It's not that bad. They did not change up the moves for the Game Boy. For example, Sub-Zero's freeze is down forward punch, not back forward kick. It's hard to make the moves the same. I have no idea why they even thought about back forward kick. The moves also have a completely different timing system. Sometimes you have to delay something to not get it to work. I played through an entire game just to get Scorpion to do his fatality, which is not four or three times an A plus B. It worked. I would say it's because they tried not to push the limits, but look at MK2. It's not better. They just screwed up this game. On top of everything else, Goro is not impossible, and when he does hit you, he looks like he's molesting you. Dirty. You know what'll make this a happy review? How about some handsome, handsome Tom's knowledge? Jean-Claude Van Damme is originally supposed to be Goro, but the deal fell through. If you look at the original data files for Goro, it still has the code name Van Damme. And the original concept of Mortal Kombat was modeled after the problems of my Goro best good old fun. It's too bad Goro isn't on the Game Boy. For those of you who love fatalities, I'm not gonna end on all of them.